How do you find the surface area of an elliptical cylinder? The surface area of an elliptical cylinder is the sum of the areas of each face. The formula is 2 times the base plus the circumference times the height of the cylinder, where b equals pi times a times b, and c is a numerical value. Inserting these gives you 2 times the area of an ellipse plus the circumference of an ellipse times the height of the cylinder. Let's look at an example. You want to find the surface area of this elliptical cylinder. The length of the semi-major axis A is 3, and the length of the semi-minor axis B is 2. The height of this cylinder is 5, and the circumference is approximately 16. To find the surface area, you need to add together the areas of the faces of the cylinder. There are a total of three faces. The bases, which are two identical ellipses, and the curved surface. By cutting and unfolding the cylinder, the curved surface becomes a rectangle, like with circular cylinders. So the total surface area of the cylinder is the area of the two ellipses plus the area of this rectangle. This is given by the formula, surface area equals 2 times the area of the base plus the circumference of the base times the height of the cylinder. The area of the base is the area of this ellipse. The area of an ellipse equals pi times the length of the semi-major axis A times the length of the semi-minor axis B. You can replace capital B in the formula with the expression for the area of an ellipse. The circumference times the height is the area of the big rectangle, which is the curved surface area. The length of the rectangle is the same as the circumference of the ellipse, which is 16. Fun fact, there is no exact formula for calculating the circumference of an ellipse. That means you will not be asked to do so at this point. If you reach line integrals in your math studies, however, you will be able to approximate the circumference of an ellipse really well. Now you can start to calculate the surface area. You insert 3 for the length of the semi-major axis, 2 for the semi-minor axis, 16 for the circumference, and 5 for the height. So you get 2 times pi times 3 times 2 plus 16 times 5. 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. 16 times 5 is 80. You're left with 12 pi plus 80, which is approximately 117.7. This means that the total surface area of this elliptical cylinder is about 117.7. Now, what would the surface area be if you had an elliptical cylinder without a bottom? The only difference is that you only include one base instead of two. So in the previous case, the formula was s equals 2 pi ab plus ch. But in a case where the cylinder lacks a bottom, you remove one base in the formula. The two in the first term gets taken out, like this. s equals pi ab plus ch. So in this case, you have a cylinder whose cylindrical base has a semi-major axis A equal to 3 and a semi-minor axis B of 2. The circumference is approximately 16, and the height of this cylinder is 5. What is its surface area? Insert A equals 3, B equals 2, and C equals 16. H equals 5. You get pi times 3 times 2 plus 16 times 5. 3 times 2 is 6, and 16 times 5 is 80. You're left with 6 pi plus 80, which is approximately 98.85. This means that the total surface area of this elliptical cylinder is around 98.85. The surface area of an elliptical cylinder is the sum of the areas of each face. The formula is 2 times the base plus the circumference times the height, 
where b equals pi times a times b, and c is a numerical value. Inserting this gives 2 times the area of an ellipse plus the circumference of an ellipse times the height.